students we were discussing numericals from your section weaves all right and uh, we were discussing one mcq here all the details are written in the question but still uh, i will repeat it for you all okay so uh, the question is select the correct correct alternatives these alternate four options are given you have to select the correct one the statement is a transverse weave is described by the equation this that I have written on top that is y equation. The maximum particle velocity is equal to 4 times the wave velocity if means you have to choose the correct option. Okay that means fulfilling which conditions out of, the th out of this 4 the maximum particle velocity will be equal to 4 times the wave velocity that is your question. So that particular condition you have to choose from these four options clear so let's start so see I have written uh, that is V equals to F lambda that is your wave velocity just recall it and the particle WV means your wave velocity and PV is your particle velocity so particle velocity I have differentiated for one time that means I have differentiated this particular equation of Y uh, with respect to T for one time so my particle velocity part is done now students i will find out i have found out the, your maximum particle velocity okay that is given in the question so that is your uh, dy by dt max that i have written so just think of the maths classes i will not do it all these are your maths portion and you will get as 2 pi f y naught all right now what do you have been asked in the question that uh, the maximum particle velocity is equal to 4 times the wave velocity and you have to choose the option. So I can write it in this way that if this P that means this particular this uh, maximum particle velocity uh, be equal to 4 times the wave velocity then that means just I will write it in mathematically this particular statement. So let's write that is your 2 pi f y naught equals to 4 f lambda isn't it just go through the last statement of this sum the maximum particle velocity is equal to this is your maximum particle velocity this one isn't it yes this I have calculated this is your maximum particle velocity I am writing it here maximum particle velocity ok so this will be equal to your 4 times the wave velocity. Wave velocity I have calculated here. See I have written wave velocity. So wave velocity was your f into lambda. So now it will be equal to the maximum particle velocity will be equal to 4 times the wave velocity. So 4 into f lambda. Yes I can write it. Write it. And let, let's see what is coming. Let's find out the value of lambda because see in the options. Uh, only lambda's value we have to calculate so let's see the lambda's value lambda will be equal to 2 pi f y naught by 4 f ok so this will get cancelled and you will be left with only pi y naught by 2 ok yes just see the calculation yes the students out of this four options that you can see in the top which option is matching yes your option B is matching C uh, pi y naught by 2 yes here also lambda is equal to pi y by y naught by 2 so that means students your option B is the correct one ok option B is your answer okay so uh, this sum is also done okay this is was your mcq so this type of mcq also you can get it in your exam okay for this students what you have to remember just you have to remember this formula this wave velocities formula and how will you get the particle velocity if the equation of the motion is given clear we don't need anything else apart from this now students will move on to next sum yes the 
yes i will just read out the second question the amplitude of a wave disturbance propagating in the positive x direction is given by y equals to 1 by 1 plus x square so i'm writing students just see the sum number which sum number will be this one okay i'll just mark this i'll just yes this was my previous sum and this will be my next sum so y is equal to 1 plus sorry 1 by 1 plus x square yes this is the value of y given all right at time t equals to 0 that means this is at time t equals to 0 okay and by y equals to one equation of y is given at two seconds that means students we are getting uh, different values of y for different values of time okay so let us write that equation y equals to 1 by 1 plus x minus 1 whole square at t equals to 2 t equals to 2 second all right now uh, the shape of the wave disturbance does not change during the propagation this is the information given regarding the wave disturbance okay now you have to find out what is the velocity of the wave okay so let's start yes so students you can see from these two equations that you are getting the equation of the motion of the wave only at different time intervals this is for your uh, time 0 second and this is for your time 2 seconds all right so let's formulate students let's write that means uh, let us yes students now what will i do i will just express that means uh, all these equations are given in respect uh, that means with keeping in mind that you are getting the values of y in terms of x now students just arrange it mathematically so that you can able to get the values of x in terms of y understood repeating it for the last time here you are getting the values of y in terms of x now i will find out the value of x in terms of y 